Alright guys, Doc Box here again. So now, the end is near. We're just days away from the first Spartan Ultra here in the Philippines. If you're train, still training for the Spartan Ultra, good for you. If you're not training for the Spartan Ultra, also good for you. Okay, it's actually more beneficial. Uh, like I said in the past vlog about tapering, uh, you should not do that much workouts now for maximal uh, race day performance. So the Spartan Ultra Guide is now out. Okay, so there listed was um, mandatory gear. And in this episode, I'm going to show some of the stuff that uh it's 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 mandatory and some of the things that uh, i would uh, wear okay or what i would eat okay during the race so okay first uh i'm gonna show you what uh, i would wear okay during the spartan ultra okay a little disclaimer i haven't done an ultra yet okay but what i'm going to wear is based on my uh, experience uh, during the uh, other spartan races the shorter distances and uh, what i've done during the half ironman and ironman okay so it's a uh, uncharted territory for me and yeah i'm still going to experiment but some of the things i uh, going to wear and going to eat are based on experience and what I have researched for the Spartan wear okay so of course um, you can have any top you want okay just don't wear cotton because cotton when wet can um, actually absorb the water and it will uh, make your stuff heavier okay it will just bug you down so wear anything comfortable dry fit okay or even topless okay if you got the guts okay but just don't wear cotton okay so for my um uh bottom or the leggings okay i bought this one at decathlon alabang okay a kalenji uh compression wear okay um it's unique i bought this one because it a, it's a compression uh, pants that have many pockets okay so I can hold some of my smaller stuff okay using gels okay and even have a zipper uh, pocket here at the back so uh, it would save me a lot of uh, space for my trail vest and um, yeah things that would I would hold okay so it's also comfortable and um, uh, warm okay during if it comes to the uh, night or the cold and yeah this is my recommended compression pants so next up will be the socks okay so this one i was it was a giveaway by my team the praetorian triathlon team okay it's uh it's from runner okay and it um it's not cotton okay and it, it has good drainage for the water okay so uh so you have to also buy or wear specialized socks for those because um, it's inevitable that you have to dip yourself in mud or water okay so uh, wear so uh, socks that can drain water uh, will not hold water okay. for my footwear I'm going to wear a Salomon um, speed cross 4 okay uh, actually my previous trail is already destroyed during the Spartan races so I had to buy a new one okay and I have come across uh, Speed Cross 4 which is on sale okay um, I am actually a firm believer of not buying too much stuff or branded things um, uh, during a race because already I diverted my budget on the travel you know accommodations and even the registration okay so uh, what I am showing you was some of the stuff that um, uh you know or, or discounts okay uh decathlon would be a good place to buy okay because uh it's actually one stop shop for everything almost okay it's not i'm not promoting decathlon but i'm just um uh elated okay when i see in decathlon so many stuff that i could use for sports at a much cheaper price okay for example the compression wear i showed you earlier is only one six Okay, compared to 2x use 2000 up, up, up and this one is free okay so um, 
I'm a firm believer of not uh, spending too much on gear. So speaking of Decathlon again, okay, so I also bought this one there. Okay, this will be the headlight, the mandatory gear. Okay, because um, you, can, you can't avoid if you're going to do an ultra and you will certainly um, beat the trail at nightfall. So you have to have a headlight. Okay, so here I have the red one okay, for warning and also the, uh, yeah, the headlight okay the it's uh, how many lumens are this 700 i think okay so it's bright enough so you can see the trail in the dark one of the mandatory stuff uh also okay is the whistle okay i just bought this one at japan 88 so it's uh around 66 pesos and yeah um i saw a whistle at rox and it's 300 pesos so yeah no <laughs> i said na uh, nah i'm just gonna find stuff at the at your local hardware store okay so so as long as it's um loud okay so that's important thing i originally have a whistle it's only 20 pesos and i just bought that at the wet market or the palenque so if you're thrifty enough okay buy your whistles at the uh, at your local palenque okay, um mandatory stuff also to bring will be the trail vest okay um this one is by amihan okay i've actually used it now for four years um and still although some uh battle damage now okay uh, it's still functional and uh, yeah um used it many times at uh many spartan races and the trails okay so it doesn't have a hydration pack in the in the back okay, but i can it can still hold a bottle a one liter bottle of water okay so i can put stuff here okay so it's also cheap and non local made just bought this one i think one five or one eight i forgot already the price but uh yeah, it still t uh, stands the uh, test of time and this is the one i'm gonna use for the race also in the guide are backlights okay so warning lights um for yeah for for you to be more visible in the trails um especially in the dark okay so what i'm going to use since i will not buy another a new light because i have this um bike lights okay these rear bike lights so I'm just gonna put it in the rear of my trail vest okay so it will help me make visible okay it doesn't have any battery so it's not really um uh functional yet okay so in the front i'm gonna use also um my bike flashlight okay so i'm gonna use it as a sort of a light additional light for me in the front okay or sort of a flashlight i can hold it um, around the trail together with the head lamp for make uh, making me more visible and so i can also see the see the trails properly so as, as i said earlier i haven't tried an ultra marathon okay um but i've also been to several trail races already um the um, uh, longest one i did would be a 25 kilometer trail okay so um it's much more difficult than the road of course because of the uh, hikes the ascents okay so um i had to practice practice sorry my nutrition properly okay so uh i would combine that with uh my experience in the iron man okay so for my nutrition i would uh use of course the goo energy gels or any energy gels that you prefer okay for me i prefer goo because it's not really that uh, slimy in the mouth it's just uh just like uh, any uh butter spreads okay and it's um light on my stomach okay so but it's again it's your preference okay you have to practice your nutrition um before the race okay because uh some if you try new stuff maybe it would upset your stomach and for long distances of course uh gels won't sustain you that far okay you also need to have solids also on um uh, ready okay so for me i would um prepare some peanut butter 
uh, with banana sandwiches on the race and um, for in the middle of the race okay, I'm just gonna bring this protein uh, bars or gels okay oh, sorry protein bars okay? because um, uh, although in Ironman okay uh, there would be significant muscle damage because of the uh, long uh, bike and the run okay much more will be in the spartan ultra because it will not only be running you will also be lifting you will be climbing you would be uh doing burpees okay so uh the muscular damage would be overall okay your whole body will uh feel the effects of the the race so i have to stick some protein okay more than usual to um, it, of course, in a, in a bar form, for it to be more absorbed and it could uh, at least uh, repair or replace some of the protein losses in my body. And of course, yes, in a, in a race, you would be sweating a lot, so you will also be losing a lot of salt. Okay, and when you lose salt, you would have cramps. Okay, so um, okay, uh, I said earlier that uh, I wouldn't spend too much on the stuff during the race, uh, but regarding to nutrition, I. Uh, I have to spend more because I would not to not uh, risk anything. Uh, nutrition is very important in a race. So I bought this uh, salt stick, okay. So in a bottle form, <clears throat> and I'll just um, place it in a plastic bag so I could um, bring them throughout the race, okay. So rather than those <clears throat> uh, in the sachets, okay. So salt is important to help you uh, not cramp during the race and. I'm also gonna use a uh, Wari Active. Um, it's a spray that could. Uh, it's, it's a liniment spray that could uh, help loosen up your muscles, uh, most especially the leg muscles. Okay. So, but you can also make a concoction of your own. Okay. Just um, search the internet for those. Okay. You can mix efficacent oil, omega, dilute it with water. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. Okay. Just try those things, of course, during practice so to put all those stuff together um and of course yeah it would be like a, a you know um a pit stop okay so you have to also have this okay um for me uh it would just it's just uh the right size to hold uh, some of the, my stuff together okay i gotta bring extra socks i think uh and my solid food solid food okay because um the, um but carry most of my gear in the bag already so this will be my refilling station this plastic uh, container which is this cost 99 pesos at the japan home store okay so just find your local hardwares and yeah um, buy cheap plastic for this okay and last but not the least of course um it's also a controversial um uh, stuff or some of the topics that um, most obstacle racers would uh, debate about would be the use of the gloves okay so i'm gonna use the domios also from decathlon okay so i'm gonna use this one i'll just uh, slip on uh, or i can just remove it easily okay the advantage of it uh, bec um, if there are thick monkey bars it would slip so i tried it already in practice and uh, I would really not recommend it but for me because uh, it's just light and I can easily remove it and uh, I'm gonna use it anyways okay so it's your preference if you're gonna use the gloves or not okay I've tried Spartan races with and without uh, gloves so if you ha have gloves of course you would protect your hands okay the downside would be it would be much harder for your grip okay so uh, when i did the uh, race with um, without gloves of course um my hands are bloody all over the place okay skin was ripped but i can um handle the upper body obstacles better because of better grip so whatever floats your boat again okay uh, regarding the uh, use of gloves so these are the stuff that i uh, would bring or use during the spartan race so there are other mandatory stuff uh, just read about it and uh, what i did was um, basic advice okay so you can just um, if you're on a budget okay just go to any uh, hardware stores or discount stores again okay? you can find a lot of stuff there okay 
uh, and regarding nutrition you have to practice your nutrition uh, during training okay um, I would reiterate that because um, disasters would happen if you uh, are not fueled enough or uh, did not practice your nutrition during the race okay you may have gastric distress you may uh, vomit okay? you may have LBM okay or you just um, gonna feel weak toward the end of the race okay so which is the, the worst case would be the DNF or you did not you did not finish because of uh, total body weakness so um, practice um, not only running not only the obstacle proficiency but also in our, your nutrition okay so doc box here thank you for watching um please like subscribe and share okay so uh see you all guys the spartan ultra and hopefully we could all make it without any injuries okay so thank you very much peace out